guys welcome back uh, in this video uh, we will do user registration uh, in the previous video we have created route folder and user route uh, for the locking so here under this locking function uh, I'll make like this so we will say r-e-g-i-s-t-e-r okay register route So this register will be also the, with the post method because user will send the data and then register and create the data in our Mango's DB database, Mango database. So uh, we'll say user route dot post. Okay, so it will be like, like this, okay. If it is uh, user, uh, send with the post method like ABN select user it it mean it's registering okay like this and then we will use ASIN uh, ASIN handler uh, to handle the error as well so inside this uh, we will have another called REQ and REX with the arrow function key so this function will be ASIN ASYNC and under the curly bracket I will receive three uh, data like name, email, and passwords to be registered. And then the data will be bring from the requested body. Okay, this request. So we have our data. So we will check, okay, if it user is exists or not before we make um, registration. If it already exists, we doesn't allow this user to create like duplicated data entry. We will redirect that user, you know, to be locking okay so we will check uh it's very simple so we we make a variable uh called access user and then we find this user with the find one with the email like 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 uh, login okay like login function that we find before so if we found this access user if condition okay if exist user we will do um we will send a uh, static code, okay? We will send static code 400 and error user already exists message. So I will format. So as, okay? As we will do registration, E L S E S, we will do the registration process. So uh, for the user, like we will say const user equal await we will say await method uh, i mean await uh, in order to create the data in our mangoes db so after that user dot create we can say this we can call this uh, method okay and we will send the object data in order to create like name and then email we have email also and then we have passwords also okay awesome so these three data will be sent in and create in the user model like this very simple okay so if this user okay this user is already uh, if this user is created after the user is created we will have another condition called if user is created uh, we'll do where we will return okay we will return the created user data as if we have got some error and when, when creating the, that, that user, we will send the error message, okay? So we will send res dot status will be 400. And then we will say thro throw new -E error. So this will be like invalid user data. Something like this, okay? If it is send us uh, uh, sending like uh, email not not uh, real email or not real name or something like it doesn't uh, appropriate data so we will send back in the user data if okay the user is already created we will send like we did in login so static code will be 201 and JSON data so user ID name email admin created at so we will not send password for sure for sure for sure okay after that um that's it it's pretty much that's it but one more thing i will show you okay so right now the password will be 
send in with the plain plain text okay so I will text um, here this is the login I will duplicate duplicate and I will say user register so we have our user register so this is the login so I will copy and then I will paste here but here we don't need this login we just need a BN user uh, and then we we does not need any other like register or something like that we just sent with the post method okay if you if you wish like R E G I S D E R you can do it uh, just need to assign R E G I S D E R here like this but for me I prefer uh, like this okay so user so we were sent we were sent with the header header will be application JSON like uh, content type content type application JSON so uh, in our body with the raw we can send uh, what we sent we sent an AME name name will be like um, user one okay and then email email will be user one at gma.com and then we will send a uh, password three data pss wrt okay password will be like one two three four five six so if i send uh right now this data like password one two three four five six this will be like plain text let me, let me try okay so uh we have created the user id is generated already in our database user one user one admin force because it's default as a force and then create it at so let me go and check our mango db so i will close it i don't need this and let's say user we have created here as you see user one user one at email. but password as you see is the plain text so uh here is generated password but here is plain text so we will do we will, we will be crypt and we will store this data in our database so how can we do it's very simple uh we need to go to our user model here and we will do we will do another function for this one okay but uh for this one we don't need to uh we don't need to call we don't need to create like 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 this okay we just need to go use our model and we can do uh like r e g r e g i s d e register that's what h e s a hash and store okay so uh it's very simple user schema dot p r e pre this pre method has been uh, provided by the by the uh, mango mango uh, user schema as you see uh, this is mango we are using the mango schema so this pre method is spot uh, spotted like um, you can um, you can read more about information about the pre method okay so this a uh, kind of uh, mango uh, pre method so uh, in that pre method, if we did, we say save, okay? If we did, we use the save, um, this pre method save, so we can uh, we can do anything we want inside this save function, okay? So I will say async essence, and we will create another function, so it will be like nest. Uh, we don't need to bring any other parameter here. So uh, I need to import like comma, and inside this function, where we need to have validate, okay? If dollar sign this dot is m o d i e d modified it, okay? This modified it. Um, this modified it like the password p s s w r d password, okay? This password, okay? So it's modified it. We will check. We will say nest. We will use this nest. Okay. I mean this not operator is like 
mean that this is modifying that may not modify that the password so we will do the next okay so uh, which mean if it is plain text uh, plain text it not plain text we don't do any other thing it was stored but if it is not like we were, we need to encrypt our password here like const as a lt sort and then await bcrypd bcrypt dot generate sort so the sort will be generated by the port 10 okay and then this dot password equal to await bcrypt bcrypd bcrypt dot hash did password so we will use this sort again here okay so now our password is encrypted by using this pre method supported by the mango okay so we just need to do this we don't need to do any other thing like this this is the same thing like before we just created okay i will send a uh, user two and then user two password is the same let me see okay user two is created let me go and check the password is stored okay as you see password has been stored by encrypted here the first one is an encrypted so we just need to uh we just need to add in our user model this prevention like to be able to store the password like this okay cool so uh, we have got our user register and this video is for right now this video is for like uh, for registration and in the next video we were to like uh, fetching the profile data and updating the profile data after that we will do product routes and all the route in the future video Thank you guys, see you in the next video.